On the back, you have two access panels. The right access panel has the uh, sight gauge that allows you to see how full your waste tank is. It also allows you to pump out the main waste tank on the trailer. This access panel has another valve that your plumber can use to connect to the auxiliary waste tank that you purchased. On the back side of the trailer, you have your mechanical room. You will need a 50 amp twist lock connection to power the trailer. And then below that is your fresh water line and that's a standard garden hose. Inside the mechanical room, uh, these boxes have the lids for the toilet, so you'd want to put those on there. And everything is very self-explanatory. All of your keys for the trailer are labeled and are in that binder there on the top. Make sure the hot water hand wash is plugged in along with the water pump in the appropriate outlet. Some of the lower power units are handled here at the 12 volt system. It's important to note that during the winter, you'll need to have the trailer plugged into electric and then turn on the waste tank heater that'll keep that warm. And then also turn on this heater here in the mechanical room and that'll keep that warm. You have the ability for fresh water to come in and fill up the fresh water tank and use that if you don't have a lot of water. But in general, you'll probably bypass the fresh water tank and go directly to the water pump to feed the system. All of your plumbing lines should be turned on with the exception of this unit, this valve here, which is the antifreeze only. If you're not going to use the heat system during the winter and you need to antifreeze it, you will close this valve and that valve. There's also a valve on the top that releases all of the pressure and water out of the hot water tank. And then once this valve and this valve is closed, and then this valve is open, you can pump coolant through the entire system uh, to keep it from freezing. But I believe you'll be using the, the heater as well as the tank heater all winter. Inside the mechanical room, there is uh, another box that has the plumbing components, uh, the sight gauge, as well as the clean out valve for this extra waste tank. We did put in um, two different ports depending on where you want to have your, um, where you want to dumping in, either this point or this point, and then also for exhaust as well, or the uh, ventilation. On the side of the trailer, this is where you would put the clean out valve here to get pumped out, and this is where you would put the sight gauge. Hopefully that helps your plumber.